15-year-old Avi Schiffman on Skype and is to prove he really is in high school. I think I woke him up. This is his website. It automatically tracks every case of COVID-19 in the world by continent, by country, by state and region. Among other things, it shows how many people are confirmed like totally in the entire world, you know, the total death, the total deceased, um, you know, the total serious, the total recovered and, you know, the total countries infected. And then, it, you know, goes down into, you know, more uh, global kind of countries and it can break it down even to, you know, the individual U.S. states. It's user friendly with overall numbers on the left. Then you can zero in on specific areas on the right. And where do those numbers come from? Let's say Korea, for example, they have like a, a local government kind of uh, website. And what I'm able to do is download the numbers from their tables that they update every couple hours and just add those numbers to a much larger data set. And it does that for basically every place. Abby says when he started this, he did not give the number of recoveries, but he changed it after getting some criticism. I thought it would be you know, help give people more hope and help make the website more optimistic if I add the recovered numbers. If you click on the maps icon at the top, it takes you to a world map that you can zero in on. You can move it around to focus on places like Colorado. You can click on a hot spot in Colorado like Denver, and a window comes up with the latest information. His websites had more than 250 million visitors. He sees an average of 25 million a day. And he's had 35,000 users at one time stressing the server. So I never expected the, the website to become so popular and I never expected the virus to become so big. You know, my generation has never had like a big world event like this. I mean, there was 9-11, but, you know, nobody was really alive for that in my generation. Or if they were, they don't remember it that well. And you might wonder how a 17-year-old figured out how to code and program all of this. And I've been programming for, you know, about a decade by now, which is pretty crazy because I'm only 17. But, um, I mean, the first website I made was just back in, like, second grade. It was about, like, stick figures. And everything I, everything I learned is just by watching, you know, YouTube videos. And, you know, any question I have, I can search on Google. And, you know, 200 other people already had the exact same question. It is amazing, isn't it? If you'd like to visit his website, here's the address. It is N cov2019.live and cov2019.live we have a link on our story on 9news.com and guys Abby says he's planning to keep the website up and add stuff like now he's working on a vaccine tracker oh. to show all of the different antivirals and vaccines that are being tested where they stand in that whole process and he is something else I mean what